Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about multiple pregnancy and it is based on important points from uh, RCG and NICE guideline about multiple pregnancy. I'm not going to present the whole guideline, but a uh, few important uh, algorithms and tables I will discuss from those guidelines. And I have tried my best to make those algorithms clear and make few tables from those guidelines myself so as to make those clear to you. Okay, so the first thing is about zygosity. Okay, twin pregnancy is divided into two main types the monozygotic and dizygotic type of twin okay so first of all if we have monozygotic the incidence of which is 3.5 into 1000 then the timing of deviation of the embryo in relation to the stage of development needs to be discussed the chorion leads to amnion so the chorion covering the amnions and amnion covering the fetus okay so and the deviant is like, first of all, there is deviant of chorion, then amnion, then the fetus. Okay, so if the deviant is at one to four day of embryo, then we have two chorion, two amnion, two fetuses because everything is divided. When deviant is at um, uh, four to seven days, then we have one chorion, two amnion, two fetuses. Okay, and if the deviant is from... 8 to 12 days, then we have one chorion, one amnion, and two fetuses. If the deviant is from more than 12 days, then we have one chorion, one amnion, and we may have conjoined fetuses. So, what are the outcome? At 1 to 4 days deviant, we may have DCDA, two separate placenta fused at the margin. If we have deviant at 4 to 7 days, we may have MCDA. If deviant is at 8 to 14 days, we may have monochorionic monoamniotic. If the deviant is that more than 12 days, then we may have conjoined twins. Okay, now that was about the monozygotic. Let us come to the dizygotic form, 6.5 into 1000. Always we have two placentas. So we get dichorionic, diamniotic. That is two placenta fused at the margin. Okay, dichorionic, the rate Depends upon geographical variation, genetic components, maternal factors like age 35 to 39, multiparity, raised BMI, and non-identical twins. Okay, now coming to the appointments. Uh, we have different types of the multiple pregnancy, number of appointments we will discuss, and we will also discuss the week of gestation of appointment. Like we have dichorionic, di uh, amniotic, we have eight appointments, like 11 to 14 weeks, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 34, 36 weeks. Monochorionic, diamniotic, 11 appointments, 11 to 14 weeks, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 34 weeks. Trichorionic, trimniotic, uncomplicated twins, we had nine appointments, 11 to 14 weeks, 16, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 34. We have tri amniotic dichorionic complicated triplets in which we have 11 appointments, 11 to 14 weeks, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 34. We have tri amniotic monochorionic like complicated twins, triplets, and in that we have 11 appointments, 11 to 14 weeks, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 34 weeks. Now, coming to the number of antenatal appointments in multiple pregnancy. I made separate separate video for that as well. On the top right side of the uh, corner of this video, you can click on the link and go to that video about dichorionic uh, diamniotic pregnancy. Uh, sorry, about the different uh, antenatal appointments of different types of pregnancy. Okay, so coming to the dichorionic diamniotic pregnancy in which we have eight antenatal appointments. Okay, I have explained these cards in that video. You can go to that uh, that link, but uh, briefly I will explain. Okay, so dichorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy offer a woman with uncomplicated dichorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy at least eight antenatal appointments with a healthcare professional from core team. At least two of these appointments should be um, with the specialist obstetrician. Combined appointment with a scan when the crown drum length measures from 45 millimeter to 84 millimeter at approximately 11 plus 2 weeks to 14 plus 1 weeks and then uh, at estimated gestation of 20, 20 
24, 28, 32 and 36 weeks. Offer additional appointment without scan at 16 and 34 weeks. Now, monochorionic diamniotic pregnancy offer uh, women with uncomplicated monochorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy at least 11 antenatal appointments with a healthcare professional from the core team. At least two of these appointments should be with a specialist obstetrician. And combine uh, appointments with a scan when the crown drum length measures from 45 to 84 at approximately 11 plus 2 to 14 plus 1 weeks and then at estimated gestation of 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 and 34 weeks. Triamniotic triplet pregnancy, trichorionic, um, dichorionic or monochorionic, okay? Uh, offer women with uncomplicated trichorionic triamniotic triplet pregnancy at least nine antenatal appointments with a healthcare professional from core team. At least two of these appointments should be with a specialist obstetrician. Combine appointment with a scan when the crown drum length measures from 45 to 84 millimeter at approximately 11 plus 2 to 14 plus 1 weeks and then at estimated gestation of 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 and 34 weeks. Offer an additional appointment without scan at 16 weeks of gestation. Now, offer women with dichorionic triamniotic or monochorionic triamniotic triplet pregnancy at least 11 antenatal appointments with a healthcare professional from a core team. At least 5 of these appointments should be with a specialist obstetrician. Then combine appointment with a scan when the crown drum plan measures from 45 millimeter to 84 millimeter at approximately 11 plus 2 weeks to 14 plus 1 weeks. And then at estimated gestation of 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 and 34 weeks of gestation. Thank you so much for your kind listening.